Hello and welcome back to Colonize. Right, in the previous video we finished the tutorial session of the game. It gave us a little preview on how to how this game works. So let's try and and do a proper game this time. So let's go here and we have three I believe there's a lot of maps. So Roanoke, Bermuda and Plymouth. I don't even know which one to choose. So let's try Bermuda. Oh, it gives us information. Okay, right. So we have climate, which is temperate, uh, temperate maritime. Thirty percent tree area, ten plus no days, and medium difficulty. Bermuda, a subtropical, twelve percent trees, no snow, and easy difficulty. And here we have temperate continental climate, 28 trees, 28% uh, trees, 40 plus days of snow. Okay. Let's just go with this one. We're not, we're not going to go with Bermuda. That seems to be too easy. We, we like a challenge. So let's take, let's take this one for now. We're still, we're still learning the game. Okay, so let's pause the game for a second and let's see what's what's happening around here. This feels like uh, almost like playing Anno. A bunch of trees all around. And yeah, what do we start with? We have the eating house. A shelter, cellar, and warehouse. Okay, so those are the four main buildings that uh, that you get at the start of the game. So let's actually start expanding a little bit. So we're going to build a wood cutter over there. So that's going to provide us some wood. Uh, we are going to sort out a farm as well. So those will be the basic ones that we'll need. Uh, let's let this guy start building. Um, I need to assign some some workers here. So you're a woodcutter. You're the innkeeper. been assigned no you sir will go work over here as the innkeeper we don't have any workers in the warehouse okay hold on He's already working there. Oh, what? Oh, now they go to work. Okay. Right, so let's see. Innkeeper works mostly at night. They say. So we'll start... 12-hour shift. Here. Start from eight, like that. Excellent. Now let's see. You, sir. I'm going to put you as a farmer. And let's see here. Do we have any woodcutters? Woodcutters. We have two woodcutters ready. Perfect, let's try and plant some crops. We'll do some corn. We'll do some wheat. Two barley fields. And let's do some potatoes. And you also need a well. Where is the well? Well is over here. 
try and place it let's see let's place it here uh let's start constructing some um some roads so we can connect this way we can connect all the buildings and we should have people moving much faster now right let's see what else yes you'll get your water soon so don't worry about it chicken farm pig farm shelter eating house warehouse okay and some decorative buildings. There might be some sort out some street lamps around the area. Make um, make things a little bit nicer. There we go. Right, let's start building a couple of houses. So let's do like a uh, planks, woods, and stones. No. Okay, do we have any? Stone gatherer is over here, but he's far away from the warehouse. So I'm gonna put you over here, sir. And we'll also do a hunter. But we do need a little sawmill, which we'll put right here near the woodcutters because we need we, go. we need someone to turn um, the logs that we get into planks or otherwise We won't be able to advance with our building. Yes, you're well. It's not yet getting built in its stone. It will get built, don't worry. There we go. It's all done for you. Getting our quarry, quarry set up there some. Uh, Stones over there and our woodcutters and we need to do a little bit of management with the with the villagers here. Um, once we get the stone production up and the plank production up we're going to start building a couple of houses and I think making like a small living area right around here in the middle of the map. We don't have any planks, so... Let's sell... 20 leather. Uh, let's buy... Let's buy some planks. have enough stone so I'm not bothered by that the others are sleeping uh, within the shelter it's currently 
12 in the morning. We might do something with the work shift so we can have like a uh, two 12 hour shifts for our buildings. So we'll have two buildings of each, but and each one will have uh, workers working during the day and workers working during the night. So that's by doing that, we make sure that we get resources all the time. So we're not making pauses like we like we're doing now. Overall, my first impressions of this game is that it looks quite amazing. I quite quite enjoy building sims. I should probably do more videos of them on my channel. There will be some more coming up in uh, in the future. But yeah, it feels a little bit like playing uh, Anno. Alright. Crops are growing. Sort of. Might put another worker over there. He's watering the crops. Okay, so let's see. People are starting to go to work. Which is very good. There we go, the woodcutters and the builders and everyone is starting to go to work. Perfect. That's what we want to see. Quarry is completed. And we soon should have our sawmill. There we go. Getting sorted. Perfect. So let's pause. Why do I have the menu coming up every time I try to pause the game? Um. Anyway, so you will work from 7 12 hours until the until 7 in the evening and the quarry workers will do the same. Now, the woodcutters you are going to work from 5 till 5 in the morning till 5 in the evening and now let's try and assign some workers we have laborers mrs elizabeth you're going to start cutting some uh, some planks for us Farmer labor, Mr. Charles will put you as a quarry worker. Let's see who else do we have here. Thomas, you're a carpenter, so we'll get you working over there. Maurice, another labor. Just gonna start gathering some stones. have two woodworkers that's all right i should probably yeah she's uh, getting planks from the ship 
some stones here that carrying them to the quarry. Let's see, we're producing a lot of planks, but not enough wood, so we should probably start doing a second uh, woodcutter over here. Because even if we end up with more wood than uh, we can have, we can still we can still sell it. Sell that leather. So that's not going to be a problem. And we'll do this. This one will be our uh, night shift worker. So when everyone is going to sleep, as they do now, we'll have those guys trying to to cut wood. After we get enough wood and enough stone, what we're going to do is we're going to start building some uh, homes. And hopefully with those homes, we're going to... The settlers are going to start making families, start having babies, and we're going to grow our population, which is what we want. So it's 12 o'clock in the evening. Let me... Let's demolition, let's shop statistics. And building. Let's see, what else can we do? What else can we do? Let me put a little bit more street lighting. Let's do. Can I build it over? Over here. No? No, I cannot. Let's do it over here. There we go. Uh, maybe another one over here. There we go. Let's see. The music of the game is also very enjoyable. I'll be very honest. Very, very enjoyable. It's quite very relaxing. They made, um, they did a great job with that. I wonder if we can um, explore other areas or if um, we're just stuck to, to the island over here. Yeah, we'll, we'll see that. We'll see. Yeah, okay, it's five o'clock. People are starting to go to work. Where is he taking that? Taking it over here.
Okay, but why is no one actually building that? Okay. Um Let's do that. You, Thomas, were a carpenter, so you can go and work over here. Okay. And we have another one which is currently unemployed, so we're going to to working at the at the warehouse. There we go, they finally start uh, start building that. Start producing some corn, which is good. You got some wheat, some tobacco. But I really want to have this one being built. And they are back at sleep. Twenty three blocks of stone. Okay. There we go. Second wood cutter is built. So you are going to work in the evening. So what we'll do is we're gonna take Edward. And you, Edward, are gonna go there. Start working. So we'll have two shifts on the woodcutters. We're currently doing pretty well for planks. We're doing pretty well for stones. Uh, we have plenty of food, which is good. There we go. This, um, our cellar is looking amazing right so what we'll do next is we're going to try and build some houses for our settlers and hopefully start to increase our population a little bit so we can get more workers we can get more laborers and we can start expanding so we'll end the video here Thank you guys for watching if you did enjoy it please leave it a like and also if you want to see more colonized videos please subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell and we'll see you guys in the next episode